Lahore is the cultural capital of Pakistan. Cinemas still bear the traces of old blockbuster films. But the industry has been in disarray for more than 20 years due to lack of state investment. Around midnight, however, the Mehfil Theater attracts a large audience of men. It offers what's known here as dirty theater. We came here to check out the atmosphere. It's the first time we've come. It's a new experience. The plays are full of edgy jokes and misogynistic dialogues, a paradox in Pakistan, a deeply conservative Islamic society. performance is never complete without a sensual dance performed by actresses, some of whom have risen to national stardom. In Lahore, these actresses earn more than 600 euros a week. It's more than the average salary in Pakistan for a year of work. I like this place because it's helped me gain a name, respect and money. <laughs> money. Still, I believe the true role of a woman is to cover herself and stay at home with her family, rather than being on stage and degrading herself to entertain people or to dance. We do earn a lot of money, but that doesn't mean we're free women. Far from the lights of Lahore, in the conservative city of Faisalabad, other actresses pay dearly for choosing this profession. For much lower wages, some, like Miss Barana, regularly face attacks by certain spectators. Misbah's family occupies this one-room apartment in the poorest area of the city. Outside, their community rejects them. When I decided to join the theatre, my family abandoned me. We've had to move several times. Because of my job, many people mistreat us. In the street, people will sometimes point at me and shout, hey, look, here comes a prostitute. That's why when I'm in the street now, I have no makeup and I wear a burqa for my own safety. What well, good is this job if it's to lose all respect from people? My wife wanted to be an actress, so I supported her in her choice. When my family found out, they insulted us. But I replied, I told them, the day will come when you will realize that an artist is also a human being. The industry itself is booming. In Faisalabad, seven theaters offer these comedy plays. It's a good business, but it also requires a lot of investment. Yet it's clear that our industry is thriving these days. Ticket prices depend on the actors. For the most part, our public is made up of middle-class men, and I'd say 95% of them are sexually frustrated. Our shows could not work without our actresses. No one comes here to watch men. You can see men in the streets, but women? The government of Punjab advises actresses not to reveal too much cleavage in the name of Islamic morality, a rather light censorship, given the same government prohibits dance lessons in public schools. Most people only come here to watch the dances. We live in a society with double standards. Yes, we come here to watch these women, yet we'd never accept them as they are in our own homes. Here in Islamabad, these theatre enthusiasts have converted a poultry farm into a performance space. Right now, vulgar drama, which is cheap quality and misogynist, is booming. The problem, of course, is that the public is now used to this kind of theatre, and it's affecting the general behaviour of people towards women. Because of them, it's become so difficult to find women to act in our plays. So the state, vulgar drama is beneficial because it's designed for people not to think freely. If they had to censor one style of theatre, they'd censor ours, not theirs. 
While dirty theater thrives, other artists and intellectuals denounce the ever-present censorship in Pakistan, a country where freedom of expression remains particularly fragile.